This is Africa's dinosaur graveyard, the timeless Sahara. This landscape of shifting sands has been reluctant to give up secrets hidden for hundreds of millions of years. But clues lie buried beneath. We're on the trail of a, a number of dinosaurs, and we begin to paint a much better picture of this time each time we come. Look back there. Since paleontologist Dr. Paul Serino discovered exposed fossil fragments here in 1997, he's been meticulously planning a new assault on the Sahara. But weather, logistics, security, and of course the inevitable delays need to be factored in. After negotiating these troubles, they finally make it to their remote destination. After crossing into nowhere, Paul and the team reach a site they've worked before. Bones litter this dinosaur graveyard and rarely remain hidden for long. It's part of a shoulder girdle. It's a, just the end of a limb bone right there. Got what looks like a leg. Hey, look at this, it's a pelvis. Wait, you're stepping on it. <laughs> the hunt is on. The team gathers tons of promising fossils, but otherwise, life doesn't look so promising. After the day, we'll have a day and a half's worth of water. We're just hoping for uh, the water truck to get here in time. There is one thing the team doesn't have to worry about running short of. Fossils. Discovery after discovery, found, plastered, and jacketed. And on a casual stroll one day, the biggest find, the jaw of the giant Sarcosuchus, super croc. This discovery is big. And soon Paul and the team get company. National Geographic croc expert Brady Barr. The prehistoric variety. No croc nearly that enormous lives today. The questions the discovery raise are equally enormous. What did Sarcosuchus look like? What did it eat? How did it hunt? Brady and Paul realize answers lie waiting, not in the sand, but in the swamp, in the living descendants of the 110 million year old bones. The discovery behind them, the journey to understand Supercroc, is just beginning.